News are tonight. I have with me in the studio Vandana Kohli, a very well known documentary filmmaker. She's in fact brought out a new documentary she's screening in Mumbai called The Subtext of Anger. I think that's very interesting in this context. So, Hail Seth, thank you very much for joining me. Neelam Katara, Nitish Katara's mother, her son died. In an, in, in, in an incident of violence which is embedded in every Indian's mind. Rajesh Kalra is chief editor of Times Internet. Uh, how do you view this? Uh, uh, let me start with you, uh, Vandana Kohli. You know, you're seeing these pictures here. As we were talking, you said this is becoming more and more common in Delhi, is it? Yes, I think, and there are a couple of factors driving it, and I'd like to enumerate two yeah. to start with. One is, I think, that in the popular culture, there is, oh, there are, the message is constantly to have a good time. Hmm. And so the sense of entitlement is growing. And the moment you face anything that blocks you from, you know, uh, the, uh, uh, your uh, fulfilling and satisfying your sense of entitlement, there is immediate aggression because we also seem to be lacking the social skills that would negotiate something apart from aggression. That's one. The second thing is there is probably a rise in goon culture and gun culture because in this burst of development that has happened around Delhi and especially if we take the case of Gurgaon, uh, a few years, 15 years ago maybe, uh, farmers came into a lot of money. Hmm. 15, 20 years ago. And there were, there's an entire generation of sons, therefore, or youngsters who've been brought up on that easy money. And that money seems to be drying up. And now these youngsters are pr probably taking to crime. Yeah. So there are several factors driving. I think the police also seems to have given up. That's my real worry here. The police, because there are, I'm told, there are eight illegal guns for every legal weapon in Delhi. And more than 90% of the crimes are committed today in Delhi with unlicensed guns. I mean, that's so shocking. I, I don't know whether the Delhi Police Commissioner has seen this. And I also want to share, as I go to our second panelist, Sohail, you know, till today, we asked, our reporters asked, what, what has the police done after this? They filed an FIR, not one single arrest has happened. Not one arrest. All those people who did this, there's not one arrest which has happened so far. It may happen tomorrow, but that's a black spot on the Delhi Police Commissioner's record. Sohail, why is the police doing nothing? No, I don't know why the police is doing nothing. The police in India is like the Keystone cops. They'll come when everything is done and dusted. But I think Vandana made an important point. <clears throat> Delhi is actually the capital for freedom fighters. They fight for anything and everything that's free. <clears throat> and when they don't get their way, they use North Indian aggression to actually simplify matters. And in this case, we've seen this time and again. I mean, you know, Neelam is in your studio. She's gone through a horrible personal tragedy. You had the case of Manu Sharma, and you've had the case of brazen aggression, which goes unchecked because of three things that are happening on and Delhi is no longer a city of civility. It's a city of aggression. Delhi is about who, who, do you know who I am? It's not about personal value systems. And what's worse is there is a heady mix between ruthless politicians, you know, between cops, and what's worse is between hoodlums. So this is an unsafe city as No, but as why is the police doing nothing? I mean, why we're is talking the police about doing nothing? The police, the, uh, because the week, police you is get the CCTV footage, you put it on Times now, by tomorrow morning, I can assure you, there'll be arrest. There'll be arrest. Now, whether there are or there aren't. But you know, or no, the tragedy is, or in, in a strange way, the irony is, that Times now is now doing national policing rather than the police doing national policing. You know, we don't, I've always said, and I'm not being facetious, in Delhi you can actually be run over by a stationary bus. That's how precarious Delhi is. It's and we have to do something about it. I don't know if it is a cultural indice, and I, yeah. I only have one slight disagreement with Vandana. It's not about where you come from. It's not about a farmer's son who's found new money. It's about even the very rich who are brazen in their approach and ruthless in their attitude. That's and true. I think the only way we can solve this is by extreme deterrent punishment. It's not Arrest happening. Arrest these jokers it's and not then happening. throw the keys away. It's not happening. 3,000 rupees you can have your way. 3,000 rupees you get an unlicensed gun, you can have your way in Delhi. That's the culture that's growing here now increasingly. Vandana wants to respond. It's uh, Vandana very quickly because I go to the other panelists two right things. now. Two things. One yeah. is I think uh, when it comes to the cops, sir, uh, I'd like to say something and I feel that there's the mindless development that has happened around. I don't think the law enforcement agencies have kept up with it. I don't know about police training programs, but I think we need to think about these things. Yeah, that's true. But that's one. Yeah. The second thing I want to say is you're right. It's not about a farmer's son, and I didn't mean to enumerate it in that sense. Because, but I think it's also this entire culture of uh, easy quick, money. easy money, 
quick responses yeah. all the time with the speed with this mindless speed and all this yeah. information coming yeah. in I, I want to highlight this once again i want to play the full pictures full frame before i go to miss miss katara now i i why why i think it's so shocking is because those people you are seeing on the screen here today are known troublemakers of south delhi the police knows these people they know exactly what happened they know the complainants they know the people who carried it out they are known to get into brawls they have gone and done this outside a five star hotel the police if it has done nothing is blindly deliberately doing nothing that's that's an imp you know then you are actually legitimizing this in that case that's the police is not just incompetent it actually lacks the teeth or maybe the courage to act against these goons that's why we'll play these pictures again and again nilam katara what are your thoughts we are getting a lot of calls into our studio today that you know vvips get maximum security and this is what happens to the aam aadmi your thoughts ma'am absolutely i think uh, the common the aam aadmi in delhi is suffering for living in the capital of the country delhi needs two kinds of police one for the vip who will take care of the vips but leave someone for us but no the commissioner of police delhi is there because he has to you know be politically correct yeah. and we need somebody who's got his heart in the right place not someone who gives statistics and makes uh, you know a big hoo about all the things they are doing each time that he is asked why a particular incident occurred the second thing is that these people don't care and because yeah, they, they are don't. so sure they will not be punished because they see people who are in power get away without being punished and today school kids are carrying guns therefore uh, there is just no fear of law and again i mean i don't want to repeat this but nobody wants to come and be a witness not even the armed guard because what happens to the witness is absolutely the case that's the ultimate forever thing. these people will be out in two days I mean come on I've been following my case for 10 years and I am 60 and I think now of I mean I was 50 when it happened and I know now that if I was to die tomorrow they'd be out in 5 days or they'd be living a life of luxury in a Absolutely. nice hospital so this is what the public is seeing so why not carry guns and you know do this this is, yeah. seems to be the easiest yeah, you're way you're on private security so I mean no, no, no. yeah. unless we get the proper kind of policing yeah, for yeah, the arm yeah. admin yeah one, one more thing before one more thing before I come SSP. yeah one more thing I before I come to Sohail I want to know because I think this hotel is very close to the boundary there also. Yes it is. Yes it is. You can quickly move in and out. So well before I come to you I want to run the pictures once again and here's another statistic if you're watching this tonight. I think every politician in Delhi should come out and think about what they are doing and if those who don't need security can give up a security guard so that the aam aadmi get some security it will be taken very oh, well. Now up. what is happening in Delhi is that you can get se second hand World War 2 pistols. I am told where the manufacturer will remove the chase number and he'll give it a new one the second hand guns can cost you between 60000 and 1 lakh rupees and apparently nowadays the system is so evolved that you get doorstep delivery within 45 minutes it's like ordering a pizza you can get doorstep delivery of It's a working second Domino's. hand gun in delhi i cannot believe that the delhi police doesn't know about it so hell before i come back to you can i just get rajesh kalra into the debate because he hasn't come in i come back to you right after that rajesh what's going on now in delhi you know i agree with what both vandana and suhail said and i don't think it's right to say it's just delhi i think delhi is just a microcosm of what india is except yeah. that it's accentuated a lot more in delhi because of the vips that we have in delhi all these things happen because of the vip culture that we have in delhi everybody wants to be a vip because vips mean means there is there are no laws for you you yeah. have seen these major big uh, government of india ministers who created such a un cry why are they uh, you know frisked at the airport whereas uh, somebody else is allowed to go in all of them want their names uh, included in the list of uh, people who are exempted from that uh, list that is the way it is so the aam aadmi sees that oh the vip can get away with all this even i should be allowed to get away with all this how am i a vip if i have to walk to a place when if, you know the aam aadmi is also walking i want to be taken there uh, right, right up there just want to share a brief instance with you actually after you told me uh, about the show i tried to look for that email about 5 years ago somebody had sent me yeah robin cook was the minister in the british government at that time he this, uh, this somebody took a picture and sent to me he was standing in the queue at london airport for the tube the tube which takes you from the airport to the center of the city that's the minister of the uk government can you ever imagine that happening here i don't think so well i don't know what i do know is that in india if and there you is have growing lawlessness as i said complete lawlessness complete lo and 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 you know i'll i'll, I'll tell you here sohail 
you know, I remember every incident after incident, the false promises that the Delhi police puts out. Today, I want the Delhi police commissioner to see these pictures. Because we remember what happened in December 12, 2007. We remember what happened with Chiba Thomas in April 2008. Soumya Vishwanathan in September 2008. Then Jigisha Ghosh one month after Soumya, Soumya Ghosh. These incidents are of the Aam Admi. They are the victims of the gun culture. And I think the... I mean, I don't know. what With, with 40 million unlicensed arms today, every parent, every, every common man will... In Delhi, will say, I cannot assert myself. God knows if, if I speak out and someone disagrees with me, he'll pull out a gun and shoot me on the spot. I don't know what culture we are heading towards. Yes, Sohail, sorry.